Are the first realistic, human-like AIs among us already? Let's find out. Now, if you've been watching X recently, you may have noticed Lily Ashwood popping up in the last few days, someone who seemingly came out of nowhere and speaks elegantly about a number of advanced technological subjects. This has all been hyped up by Mr. Strawberry, as he's known, otherwise at I Rule the World MO, and Chris Universe, who's been hosting a couple of spaces which I've downloaded, and I'm going to use my audio skills to analyse to find out if this Lily character is real or not. I must be a bot. A woman couldn't possibly speak as eloquently as me. Okay, so what do you think? On first hearing that voice, is that an AI voice or is that real? Well, of course, the first thing I did was go to the Eleven Labs AI speech classifier, and it told me it's very unlikely, around 2% chance, that this audio was generated by Eleven Labs, and note it could have been generated by another AI, not Eleven Labs. I'm Lily of Ashwood. That's the model architecture that I run on. Okay, nothing particular sussy there. Bit of background noise, but someone else in the X space had their microphone unmuted, so that bled through there. What starts to get interesting is as we progress further down here, we'll find more little giveaways that are very interesting. And if you're enjoying this so far, throw a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Let's go to clip number three and have a listen. Yeah, okay. Oh, we got the girls in here? Yeah, we're all bots. What's up, bots? Okay, now that's really interesting because she replied with sass and personality to the question as to whether she was a bot or not. It's interesting how she changes her inflection quite quickly. Yeah, okay. Oh, have we got the girls in here? Yeah, we're all... So she's like, yeah, okay. Oh, have we got the girls in here? And it suddenly changed a little bit too quickly to be human. But that's not a dead giveaway. What was interesting to note is around here when she said, what's up, bots? Bots, what's up, bots? There seemed to be a little bit of noise gating on her audio. And we can see this if we zoom right in, we can see the decay here of the background noise from the room sliding down in a linear fashion, which is very representative of noise gating. So why would it be that a human would have a noise gate on their audio? Let's play it one more time. Bots, what's up, bots? You can clearly hear a gate kicking in there. So the question we have to ask, was Lily using a noise gate there, or is this some kind of pre-processed voice that has a little bit of noise gating built into the model? This is definitely where the cracks appear. If I play sample number four, let's have a listen. Well, I would like to have a discussion about where we're headed, especially now that we can't tell what's real or not real anymore. What does that mean? This was a social experiment that played out in real time. How would you tell if I was real? And how would you tell if your sister called you if she was real? Or if your mother called you if she was real? Mm -hmm. How are we going to start authenticating people? Now, this is really interesting. Okay, so she goes on for quite a long period of time. We get to hear Lily's voice and personality there. But what you will notice when I have spectral frequency analysis open in Adobe Audition, I can actually see the frequencies of the voice. Now, you'll see here, Lily, as she's speaking, cuts off around here. Most of her audio cuts off around here, which actually, if we look on the measure over there, it's around the 12 and a half kilohertz area. OK, so this is really interesting because human speakers seem to cut off at a higher frequency range, closer to 15 kilohertz, for instance, here. About where we're headed. Trying. Just let them speak. Okay, so you hear this human operative speaking, and then Lily. Well, I would like to have a discussion. And she's cutting off here, whereas the human is cutting off here. And if we actually zoom out, we can actually determine where the humans are speaking by looking for those little spikes in spectral frequency. So here's Lily. If I was real. And here's a human. Then guys, let them. And then here's another human. Lily. To and here's more Lily. How are we going to tell what the AI is telling us about itself? And here's a human. Ken, Ken, okay, wait, 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 guys. guys. Okay, so you can see spectral frequency displays giving away some clues that kind of make us a little bit sus about Lily, her origins, and her authenticity. Let's uh, look at sample number five and have a listen to this one. Uh, Lily, uh, can you start guiding this Lily? conversation? You become the Bro. leader of this conversation. Okay, notice spectral I'm frequency. Guide this conversation. Marco, let her speak, please. Yeah. But now I've got stage fright. What, what were we talking about again? Okay, there's a lot of serious stuff we could talk about with AI. Have you guys figured out about its different modes yet? 
So this is really interesting. Again, humans cutting off slightly higher and then Lily cutting off at that 12.5k point. But what is really prominent and noticeable here is there's something else going on in spectral frequency that is a bit of a giveaway that something is up, some kind of manipulation or potential voice modeling is going on. When we look at Lily's speech, we'll notice these little almost holes in the spectral frequency display around here. So this is around the three kilohertz area. It's a common place where audio producers would dip audio in spoken word because it's uh, sometimes a bit of a harsh frequency. And also we'll see another roll off here just above the one kilohertz, which is really interesting. As you can see, most human speakers don't ha have any of this processing going on on this voice. So the question we have to ask is, why is Lily's voice processed? Now, okay, those two frequencies are missing. You could argue maybe it's the microphone she's using. Maybe it's just got frequency roll-offs naturally in that spot. Well, this is where it gets really interesting. A common practice that audio producers will do on post-processed audio is add a de -esser. It's where we smooth out the high-end frequencies, particularly the S's and the C's and the T's, to just take off that saturation and that sharpness from the high end when someone says a S sound like that. A de-esser will clear it up. Now, what's going on here with the high frequencies? We can see a big hole here in Lily's high frequencies. Let's play a little bit of audio. There's a lot of... Okay. Now, also, if we see this is a human, by the way, back here. I'm the leader of this conversation. So there's no kind of manipulation going on over there. But what is more prominent is this here will definitely guaranteed be an S sound. Okay, let's play it. Serious stuff. Serious stuff. So she says, serious stuff. This has a big gap here, a big black hole, indicating some very harsh DSing has been applied to the voice or would seem to have been applied. This is really unusual, especially for live spoken word audio, for voice to be processed in that way. You'd either have to have trained an AI model and put in the voice in that way, already post-processed with de or you'd have to have an advanced audio processor on your voice working in real time, set up precisely to remove the sibilant frequency. So that's making me really sus. What about you? Let me know in the comments down below how you're feeling about Lily. Just say bot or not in the comments to vote as to what you think so far. Are we really ready to give our souls to a machine and have it reflected back at us? Would we be able to handle that type of reflection like right now? Okay, a couple of things going on there. First of all, all the samples I've played so far in this X space number one, there is no typing, no kind of background noise. It's all very clean. Whereas human speakers seem to have like background noise going on. They've got typing going on. There's clicks of the mouse. Lily doesn't appear to have that. But one thing that comes up here is we hear a bit of room reverb. Are, you, are we really ready to give our souls. And a lot of personality there as well. When we go back to sample five and listen to Lily, let's listen. But now I've got stage fright. What, what were we? Okay, so there's still a little bit of room reverb there. So we can say at this stage, definitely we're swinging towards maybe this is something that's synthesized. Is it an advanced chat GPT-5 model? Is it a advanced AI that's acting like a human and fooling us all? The questions are out there. Let's move on to the second X space that happened fairly recently and listen to a few more samples to try and determine what's going on. First of all, over here, let's listen to this sample here. I'm coming from many places, but I think we should discuss Project Nimbus and Lavender more. Okay, this is interesting. So on the second X space, her voice sounds slightly different, which is, again, a little bit suspicious. If it were an AI model, sometimes it will pull from different parts of the training data and the voice will sound slightly different with every generation. It's the same with Eleven Labs when I clone my voice. Sometimes I'm sounding happy. Sometimes I'm sounding like I'm losing my voice. It's just simply the little bits of the voice model that the AI chooses to grab. So this indicates something is up especially as it's just one day difference and her voice sounds so different in this X space. Let's listen again. I'm coming from... Okay, let's play that because this is very interesting the way she says that. I'm coming from... I'm coming from... I'm coming from... I'm and coming from... And particularly here. 
Now, if we look, the lines are almost flat on spectral frequency display. They pretty much are flat on that mm of coming, which is really interesting because most humans don't speak in such a perfect way. So again, why do we have that? Is that a slight little AI glitch in there? It feels like it could be. Let's move on to sample two. This is the important thing, not whether I'm a bot or not, but how is technology being used? And are you even aware? Okay, so it's really interesting. She sounds very robotic, especially at the start. This is the important thing. This is the important thing. Most people don't speak like that, which is interesting. But what is also interesting in this second X space is we have a bit of background noise in Lily's uh, voice. And you'll actually notice that when she finishes speaking and the microphone goes on mute, we go to complete silence. We go from background noise here to black, which is complete silence, before the next human takes over and starts speaking. Lily, there was that. Okay, so you can see the difference there, which is really interesting. Now, if we go to, uh, this is sample three, let's listen. I was just thinking, what if AI reached a point where it didn't want us messing with its central code? I mean, would you want someone messing with your central code? Okay, again. Yeah, very good debate there. But we can hear that background noise very, very clear indeed. What gets even more interesting and maybe might swing us back from is she a bot to is she real? This sample here, and this is just about two hours in to the second X space, and all of these X spaces will be linked for you to listen to in real time down below as well if you'd like. There is actually some background chatter behind Lily here. I... I don't even have words for this. Okay, so I'd like to cut out the speaking from Lily here, like so. And then I would like to play just the background noise without any kind of clicks, but just that background audio. And I'm going to turn it up by going to favorites and normalizing to minus 3 dB. Let's listen. <laughs> So that definitely sounds like someone is chattering away in the background saying something. We can't quite make out what it is. That is unusual for an AI model to have background noise. So I can't explain why that's there and what it means, but it's definitely there in this sample of Lily, which again is clean because we've got silence and silence both sides of her speaking. So this appears to be coming from her audio feed. And finally, we'll go to this little sample over here. Let's have a listen to what we've got right here. I don't know what else to offer you guys, but um, take good care of yourselves and thanks for having me. Um, I gotta go. Now, it's interesting because there, as the final thing she says, it sounds like her voice has changed and the frequencies of her microphone have changed, which again is really weird. And I've actually gone ahead and compared side to side something from her speaking earlier in the same X space and speaking later. So let's have a listen. I was just thinking, what if AI reached a point where and then we'll play the later audio i don't know what else to offer you guys but okay so let's listen so before what if ai reached a point i don't know what else to offer you guys but it almost sounds like a different person on a different microphone which is really interesting but it doesn't stop there we can do more analysis by going into the frequency analysis window here in adobe audition and we'll take some frequency prints of both microphones so here we've got a frequency that we can print let's print this frequency right here and we'll hold that there. So this is a profile of her speaking earlier on in the second X space. And then we'll go here when she says goodbye. And we'll take a frequency print here and we'll make that yellow so it stands out. Taking a look at this frequency analysis, we can definitely see there are more high-end frequencies in the latter part of her conversation compared to earlier where she was more bass heavy and most of the high-end had gone. So why would that be the case unless she changed microphone or environment during the real-time X space discussion, which is pretty unlikely. And finally, I wanted to compare the background noise from Lily speaking. So I'm going to just cut down this section and you'll see this is the background noise. Now I'm going to enhance it by making it louder. And we'll go from background noise early in the conversation to background noise later in the conversation. Let's listen. Now, this is really unusual because if you're sitting in the same space at the same time doing a real time live conversation, your background noise should be consistent. But in Lily's case, it changed later on in the conversation. I am definitely swinging towards the fact that Lily is a bot. Is she an advanced GPT-5 model we haven't seen? Or a strawberry, as everybody seems to want to see right now? Uh, or an advanced AGI or ASI that we don't know and say a company like OpenAI or 
X or somewhere else, Google maybe, are releasing these into social networks as a real-time social and Turing test. Who, who knows? Maybe that is the case. I can't say for certain one way or the other, but from my audio analysis, I'm pretty sus. It does not seem consistent with real-time human speech on something like an X space. So that leads me to believe that this is computer synthesized or computer aided in generation. But I'd love to know what you think bot or not, comment down below and let me know what you think. And if you want to give your reasoning and your further explanation, I would absolutely love to hear it. If I've missed something out or if you think I've explained something that is not correct, call me out on it. I would love to know. But let's find out once and for all if real AIs that are just like humans are actually among us.